Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here and continuing the topic you know. Uh, this one is design operations. Article 4.11 they have named it as design operations. Now the previous one those were the 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 what the analysis operation. This one is the design operation. So the design is somewhat opposite to that of the analysis. In the analysis for instance you are given the values of the resistance is the the circuit parameters are given and you are asked to find the circuit elements are given you are asked to find the unknown parameter that is the current and voltage you would be finding out in the design parameter this is opposite you are given for instance the voltages and the currents and you, you are so which means you are given the parameters and you are asked to find the circuit elements for instance you will be asked to find the uh, the, 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 the what the, the, the resistances so the first question states what that given is the fixed bias configuration the given characteristics is given find the value of the resistances so from here you could see what you could see your vcc is given and your ic is given so if ic and vcc are given so what can you find out rc rc would be what that would be your vcc upon ic isn't it like this it is so have a look the q point is given this would be the q point this would be the q point which means you could also find the Q point coordinates or anyway. So let's say VCC from here is 20 volts. You can see that VCC is 20 volts. And you know why am I taking it like this, okay? And IC is 8 milliamperes from here. Now what is unknown? RC is one of the unknown terms. So VCC we have got it. So RC is one of the unknown terms. So RC would come out to be VCC upon IC. And VCC is 20, IC is 8 milli. RC comes out to be what? Let me check from the book. RC comes out to be 2.5 kilo ohms. 2.5 kilo ohms. Similarly, in this way, you could also find out IB. IB is like this. If this is IC, so IB would be what? IB. So this is the current through RB. So you could check from here. It's VCC minus at the other end. So I connected again to the plus side of the VBE. So minus VBE and divided by rb you can write down the values 20 minus 0.7 divided by rb so rb is also unknown have a look so rb is also unknown but the given thing is that ib is ib is known ib from here is 40 microamperes 40 microamperes so which means that from here you could find out the value of ib whatever comes out to be this is uh this is where 482.5 kilo ohms 482.5 kilo ohms now the book has written that this might not be standardly available for instance for instance this 2.5 kilo ohms is not available a 3 kilo ohms is available so use the 3 kilo ohms you you have to make certain assumptions you will the, the 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 pitch perfect thing is not available right so you 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 may have to make a little assumptions for that Anyways, so let's have the uh, the second example. The second example I've written over here. This is what uh, the the ICQ is given, which means this current IC is given. IC then plus minus VCE is given. VCC is given. R2 is given. RE is given. IB is this current. So have a look. This is a voltage divider rule. So voltage divider would suggest what the Thevenin theorem, and you could see that R equivalent, which uh, uh, R let's say the voltage at the base. The over here would be the voltage at the base, right? So voltage at the base is given. Uh, no, it's not given. So how do we do that? So you can find out the voltage at the emitter. The voltage at the emitter you can find out first. And how do you find it out? Voltage at the emitter would be the current IE times RE. Isn't it like this? But IE is not given. So IE is approximately equal to IC. And that is given. So that is given. So I could put in approximately equal time IC times RE. And IC is given which is 2 milliamperes. And RE is given that is a 1.2 kilo ohms. So the value of VE I have got which is 2.4 volts. 2.4 volts. Now from here I can calculate VB. VB right. So VB would be what? VBE is equal to VB minus a VE. So VB would be what? VBE plus a VE. This implies that VB is VBE that is 0.7 plus 2.4 
VB comes out to be what? VB comes out to be 3.1 volts. 3.1 volts. Now this is that. This is the voltage across R2. Yes. So have a look. Can I not write like this that VB is equal to R2 times the total voltage VCC divided by R1 plus R2. I can write it and I could just say this is a 3.1. So have a look. VCC is given. R2 is given. Can you not do it for R1? You can do it. So R1 comes out to be 886.52. 86.52 kilo ohms. 86.52 kilo ohms. So R1 is done. Now RC would be what? It would be VCC minus VEE. Wait, IC is what? IC is VCC minus VCE upon RC. So RC would come over here and IC would come over here. So RC is this and IC is this. And isn't it like this? RC is VCC minus VCE. VCE, no. No, not VCE, okay? This would be VC. VC. Because this is VC over here. This point is at the potential VC, right? So VC you can find out from where. Now as VCE is equal to VC minus a VE. You have VCE, you have VE, you can find out VC. VC comes out to be a uh, uh, VC comes out to be 12.4 volts. 12.4 volts. Put down the values over here. VCC is what? 18 minus 12.4 divided by IC is 2 milli amperes. The value of RC comes out to be 2.8 kilo ohms. 2.8 kilo ohms. And that is it. RC is 2.8 kilo ohms. If 2.8 kilo ohms is not available in the market, you can use a 3 kilo ohm resistor with the cap. Okay, here it is. So that is your example number 2. Example number 3. Example number 3 states what? Have a look. What is this? This is an ammeter bias configuration. So ICQ is, is, is said to be a half of IC saturation. So which means that IC is 4 milliampere is given through this branch. IC. IB through this branch. And then what do you have? IE through this branch of course. What is unknown? RC, RE, RB is unknown. So what can you do? You can find the IB first. You can find IB first. You should find IB first. Isn't it like this? Or let's say we go in order of the book, right? If we go in order of the book, so what have they done? RC could be find out using what? RC could be find out VCC minus VC upon IC. VCC is given, VC is given. 28 minus 18 divided by IC is given 4 milli. RC comes out to be what? RC comes out to be 2.5 kilo ohms. 2.5 kilo ohms. 2.5 kilo ohms. So RC is a done. Now what do you have? IC saturation is VCC divided by IC plus RE. You know the formulas, right? IC saturation is VCC divided by RC plus a RE. If you have normal IC current, you have a minus VCE over here, right? So VCC is known, RC is known, IC saturation is known. You can find out RE from here. So RE, what come out to be, what put down the values for yourself, okay? Put down the values for yourself and that would be one kilo ohms. That one is one kilo ohms. One kilo ohms. Similarly, now you can have IB. Now, so as IC is beta times IB, so IB comes out to be what? Beta value is given. So IB could be IC by beta. So IC is 4 milli divided by beta is 100. The value of the base current comes out to be, the value of the base current comes out to be 36.36 microamperes. 36.36 microamperes. This is at the Q point. This is at the Q point, right? Yes. Now IB is equal to what? IB is equal to, you know again that IB, 
IB is equal to VCC minus a VB. VCC minus VBE divided by what? Divided by RB plus beta plus 1 times RC. Isn't it like this? Yes. RB plus beta plus 1 times RE. RB plus a beta plus 1 times a RE. You have VCC, you have VBE, you have I base, you have uh, found out RB. Or no, no. So RB is required. RB is required. You have RE. You have RE. You just find out one kilo. You have the value of beta. So RB could just simply be found out. RB could just simply be found out and the value is 639 kilo ohms. 639 kilo ohms. Now I told you about the assumption. So let me just write over here what standard values is the book using for this. So RB came out to be 639 kilo ohms. The book states to use a, a, a 620 kilo ohms uh, available in the market, right? Yes. Then what do you have? RE is 1 kilo ohm, so that is available, that is no problem. Similarly, RC is 2.4 kilo ohms is available. This is 2.5 kilo ohms, but the book states that 2.4 kilo ohms is available in the market. So we'll be using that. Right? Yes. Do you want me to do the next? Yes. So I will do the next and then the next after this one would be your homework. Fine. Okay. So what is given? They determine the resistor values for the indicated operating point and supply. So VE is given 1 over 10 times VCC. You could have, you know, operated it to be at 0 volts, but VE is given VCC by 10. It's written in the book that the voltage at the emitter is nearly the voltage at the ground. Mm -hmm. If it is solidly grounded, VE is directly zero. But if you have an RE over here, this would be approximately equal to VCC by 10, right? Yes. This is your RE. This is RC. This is RB. So put down the values, please. 20 by 10 is 2 volts. 20 by 10 is 2 volts. So you've got your IE. Now what do you have? RE would be what? RE. What would be VE upon IE? VE is 2 and what about IE? So IE would be approximately equal to IC, right? Yes, so 2 milliampere. So 2 milliampere. So what would you have? You would have a 1 kilo ohm resistor. 1 kilo ohm. Why have I started? I have written IE is approximately equal to IC. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now RC would be what? RC. So the voltage across this divided by the current rate. So RC would be VCC minus of vc divided by the current through it and vc would be what so that we would calculate from negative vce negative ve right however how am i talking about like this so i have a vce is equal to vc minus ve so we uh, vc would be what vce plus a ve you have vcc uh, uh, sorry you have vce which is given 10 you have calculated ve is 12 uh, no, it's 2, so you have a 12 volts over here. So VCC is 20 minus 12 divided by IC is given, it's 2 milli. So A divided by 2 is 4 kilo ohm. RC is 4 kilo ohms. RC is 4 kilo ohms. Yes, yes, sir. IB you can calculate. Can you not calculate? IB is IC upon beta. Beta is given? Beta is given. So IC is also given 2 milli. Divided by beta is 150. The value of IB comes out to be 13.3 microamperes. 13.3 microamperes. RB would be what? The voltage VCC minus a VB. VB divided by the current through it. IB. Do you have IB? We found out IB, right? Yes. So. So what do you have? VB would be what? So as VBE is equal to VB minus VE, so VB would come out to be VBE plus a VE. 0.7 plus a 
0.7 plus 2, so 2.7. So 20 minus 2.7 divided by 13.3 into 10 power minus 6. The value of Rb comes out to be 1.3 mega ohms. 1.3 mega ohms. And I believe that should be it. I believe that should be it. 1.3 mega ohms. Why am I saying that should be the next example? I'm not solving because the weather is so beautiful outside and I just cannot wait here and, and, and keep making the videos for you guys. I, I have to just go and have a cup of tea in the beautiful weather. Right? So the thing is, there is a point over here. Uh, there is a point over here that R2, they have taken less than or equal to R2. They have taken less than or equal to 1 over 10 times Re. Why is that? So they have explained this. It is in the voltage divider biasing. Okay. They, they have said it over here. Just have a look. The equation used for the calculation of base resistance R1 and R2 will require a little thought. Using the value of base voltage and the supply voltage will provide one equation. But there are two unknowns. R1 and R2. An additional equation can be obtained from understanding the operation of these two resistors providing the necessary base voltage. So what do you say? For the circuit to operate efficiently, it is assumed that the current through R1 and R2 should be approximately equal and much larger than the base current and much larger than the base current. So which means what? That I, the current through R1 should be approximately equal to the current through R2 and this should be much larger than the base current IB for what? For the circuit to operate efficiently. For the circuit to operate efficiently, this is in the voltage divider biasing and for that they have made this assumption. With at least 10 ratio 1, okay, this should be greater than 10 ratio 1, which means if IB is 1 milliampere, the current in IR1 and IR2 should be 10 milliampere. So, this fact and voltage divided equation for the base voltage provide two relationships necessary for to determine the base resistance. That is, R2 should be, should be less than or equal to 1 over 10 beta times RE. So, this is R2 and you also have a beta over here. And the next equation is that you know that your uh, that your VB is what R2 divided by that you know R2 divided by R1 plus R2 times VCC. So the next is the voltage divided by saying this is example number what example number 4.25 let that be your homework. Example number 4.25, let that be your homework. So do study it out for yourself and do understand it, okay? I will just go out for a walk, have a cup of tea and enjoy the weather. See you in the next video very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care of yourselves, everyone around you. Do remember me in your prayers. Do subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.